What's up, you two? What's up, you two? Welcome to Young Buck Refrigeration, man. We got another call. Uh, we got another call. So this call is walk-in freezer fans are not running. So I just walked in this motor room. Uh, the compressors and all that running. Uh, we got about like five or so uh, percent. I should have looked at my sight glass before I recorded, but um, I need to check my sight glass. I'm pretty sure it's clear, but we got like 5% of uh, liquid. Um, my uh, suction line is frozen. I mean, if the fans ain't running, it's going to, you know, accumulate ice and all that, and it's just going to cause some type of flood back. But anyway, uh, let's, let me just show y'all. I don't know why they got it like that, but they do. They actually flashing, but that could be a number of reason of things. Let's suck it five right here. Both the, uh, my cylinders are active for the liquid. So I'm gonna hook my gauges up. Here anyway, I got plenty of pressure. I have plenty of pressure. So uh, let's go check the freezer. All right guys, so they said everything was thawing out. Uh, nothing ain't running at all. So uh, let's uh, look into it. All right guys, if y'all don't remember, this was the same freezer that I uh, fixed the leak on. So it would have been my second repair that I made. I think this core should probably be replaced, but um, yeah. All right guys, circuit five, this is what we looking at. Oh, she is all iced up. Oh, uh, yeah, everything literally is melted in here. Oh, uh, boy. wonder if this thing got a, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have to put her in the defrost. I'm gonna have to get my screwdriver, move this panel. See what controls the fans. All right, guys. As you can see, fans not running. Uh, side of coal is uh, back. Side of coal is frozen uh, inside. Um, what I'm gonna do is just put this circuit in defrost, so all this ice and all that can melt. We can have a clear coal. Uh, I need to go in this panel. I gotta see what. Uh, controls uh, the fans um, you usually they have like a clicks on um, that usually bring the fans on and all that um, hopefully no breaker or nothing trip but we're gonna see though so yeah literally everything is melted y'all can see it so Good thing about this, it is hot gas defrost, so it's going to clear it real quick. This is, well, that's the freezer, then it's the cooler right here. Gotta love hot gas defrost, guys. Gotta love it.
All right, guys, so this is the electrical side. We got our power coming in, powering up this uh, board right here. Uh, we got our heaters, we got fans on here. Uh, this is a default control, that's what it's indicating. Um, but based off the, well, well, orange wire, I wonder if this was loose. That thing just popped right off. Shouldn't have. Not even going on now. What the hell? Yeah. It ain't on there all the way. Um. Anyway, guys, I see this is our fan wires right here. So it's on F2 and F1. Um, F2 and F1. Our F1 have a black right here coming into this default control right here. So I wonder if it's like a normally open, normally closed. Um, I'm not familiar uh, with anything like this. Honestly, this is my first time seeing something like this, especially on a uh, walking. So I know it ain't rocket science. So. All right, guys, it's now feeding back. All right, guys, so I was going through my wire diagram, making sure every wire was wired for wire, make sure everything wasn't uh, out of place. And so look right here, we got the black off this uh, defrost um, control. Uh, it's going to F1. Um, I got voltage there. Um, if I go from F2 to F4, I got F2 right there. And this wire was loose right here, but it ain't doing nothing. The fans ain't cutting on at all. Then we got our red on our X, and then we have our blue, which is on our N. I don't think we have the proper voltage. It's supposed to be 208, 230. Um, when I go from, let me see. I go from in and four. I'm not even getting nothing. It's like canceled out. So I don't have the proper voltage. So I need to look around real quick. Cause it is 208. These motors are 208. So you gotta see what's going on. We got 120 there. All right, guys, so I'm at the breaker. Y'all see where it say little freezer? Yeah, I think that's 13 to 15, this breaker right here in this trip. I knew something was kind of funky. What caused it to trip? Huh, let me turn it off real quick. Something caused it to trip, but that orange wire is pretty loose. We shouldn't have no voltage at all now. We shouldn't have no power uh, at all now. Um, like I said, when I was checking between these two, I wasn't getting nothing. As you can see, we don't have nothing now. Uh, my power was uh, canceling out, but each leg I was getting about 120 or so. I shouldn't have nothing here. Yeah, it's dead. I wonder why this was loose. Could this potentially be? Hmm. All right, guys, so guess what I found? Y'all see that little spade in there? Guess where it broke it off from on F2. So remember this black wire is going to F1 and then you got um, this orange one, which is uh, from this red supposed to power out of two I need to pull this out right here and uh, reattach it because it probably just flipped off and hit something honestly so 
But like I said, uh, if I check voltage on about each leg or so, I'll get 120. But if I go at it, <laughs> it will cancel out. And then I had to look at it. Glad it had this wire diagram here. I'm going to look at it one more time. F2 is supposed to be jumping off to 4. And that's the broken piece of spade on F2, which is this jumper wire from uh, number 4. So, let me see if I get a meter. I think I got something in my pocket. You have a meter because, boy. I thought this thing was 120. I had to check the data plate too. It say 208. So I was kind of tripping. This might not even work, the one I have. But that thing was pretty loose. Y'all see this? Can't make this up. There we go. We got it out right here. Most of the time when I'm working on older units, they do not, uh, older units, rather evaporator, conventional, uh, sometimes they just don't have the data plates or any uh, schematic uh, wire diagrams and stuff, which sucks half the time. All right, right now I'm going to reconnect it in another position. And I guarantee the reason why it's broken because the moisture and all that, uh, that accumulate over time. Back on F2. I wonder why I can't fit it on. I'm talking about it can't fit on. Makes sense now. Alright guys, so she nice and snug now. Earlier y'all tried y'all see me trying to stick it on. Um, but she on there now. Make sure everything else is placed back in. Um but this is our power coming in. We should have 208 uh, now. We should have the proper voltage. Uh, I'll probably run this uh, thing back in the hot gas defrost one more time. Let it go through uh, one cycle and uh, get out of here. Um, as you can see, everything's kind of rusted out and all that due to the moisture and all that. So I thought something was going on with this defrost control, but I heard it click and it was uh, sending voltage uh, on this side. Um, I usually they have a click sign and all that, but uh, I, this is a cool setup i never seen. I'm pretty sure most of you guys already seen it before, but yeah. Is it raining outside? It sounds like it's raining. Oh boy. Yeah, it's raining. All right, guys. So like I said, we should have 208 volts and these motors should be running. Um, always check your data plate and all that. Always check your data plate. So let's go out and it's raining outside. It's raining, raining. As you can see, it say little freezer, so. Oh, it tripped again. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, now we're gonna have to dig deep. Gonna have to dig deep. Wait, need a trip. Let me see something real quick. Maybe I'm getting uh, too high right now. Well, they blowing. Probably just need a reset. I'm gonna put a defrost and then uh, recheck it. That breaker shouldn't have a trip. Well, that's something. I'm, I'm trying to see if I smell anything like burning up. I know the heaters. All right, guys, as you can see, we now got two, uh, 211 volts early. I wasn't getting yeah, nothing, um, of course. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna monitor this. Unless something rode around here that I don't know about. That spade wouldn't just break off like that either. 
to just be real. One more time, um, fans should kick off um, that defrost control should open up and then when it go back in refrigeration um, we just go from there it will when we when it go in refrigeration it should close send in the power and all that I just want to make sure that I break it on trip I'm not smelling nothing weird I'm not seeing anything, but um, I'm gonna go back and look at my video. I'll talk to you. raining cats and dogs right now i got a hot guys defrost the fans should kick off once the fans kick off as long as no break or nothing trip i'm a okay if it come back on just leave it as is but we didn't have the proper uh, voltage uh one the breakers was trip now that orange wire that goes from four uh to um uh, f2 um, speed connector was uh broken off so it's a weird situation because it was pretty loose and I was trying to put it on. So anyway, yeah. Breaker has a trip. See fans stop. Now our heaters also got proper voltage too. I don't see anything weird going on. I don't see anything rubbed or nothing. I wonder if you start pulling anything. Probably not. Might not. Might be. Yeah, it is two amps. Two amps. Uh, this is for something else. Okay, okay. Well, it don't use. Hmm. It might do use electric heaters. Well, this one. You can either use electric heaters or uh, hot gas, because it does have electric heater uh, um, set up. All right, guys, I think I said something wrong, if I ain't mistaken, about we shouldn't have power if it going defrost from this wire, but I think I'm just was talking. Uh, this defrost this defrost control just basically act like a switch that's all it is um we got our black going to f1 of course and then we got our uh, jumper wire right here going to f2 uh the neutral is open uh when that cool get cold enough you should hear it click and it should close uh the path and then we have uh the voltage I'm going towards the motors now if I go to f1 and f2 I'm not gonna have the voltage of course right now neutral I ain't closed and as you can see it's like a switch blue black so it's open right now it's just a switch that's how I look at it <clears throat> 
Am I curse? Am I concerned about this? Probably, yeah. But I mean, if it ain't broke, you know, don't fix it. You know, so. Anyway, guys, could it have just been that broken spade connector? Because I checked all these other wires, and I don't see anything rubbing or anything. Um, we only have the drain uh, pan heater. Um. I don't see nothing rubbing uh, from the fans, honestly. But I can uh, double check, double back, just to verify. Because all my wires are clear. I think somebody came after me because I didn't see that sticker last time on there, unless I'm just tripping. I need to put a bolt right here. So I'll have to steal one of these and put it right there. But I don't see anything rub. I don't smell anything burnt and as you can see all the fans just spin uh freely anyway guys that's going to be pretty much it i'm gonna just let this uh, box temp uh drop and i'm just going to monitor it um but sh when it start feeding um i'm gonna record that part when it's feeding we should hear that click um and uh, just let this thing come down to temp all right guys my guess if that spade connector just got loose over time it potentially must have touched another wire which probably caused it uh to trip that's what i'm thinking that's the only way because i don't see anything um arcing or um anything rubbed our heaters, well, the heaters uh, on there is pulling about what two amps or so. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. I just find it funny. I was trying to put the spade connector on one. I would have messed myself up because I know how to look at the wire diagram. I'm like, why in the world I'm putting it on one? It should be coming on anytime soon. They got a, a delay, a drip time. So, yeah. Guys, I didn't get in time. I went out to see if it's... I ain't get in time, but it's feeding now. So, I might have placed everything back. I'm satisfied with it. Uh, like I said, I didn't see anything uh shorter a touch the only thing i found was this wire right here with that broken spade connector it was pretty loose like a goose anyway i'm about to put this back let this box temp come down and get out of here all right guys so that's gonna be pretty much it um box temp is down it's feeling way colder of course because the fans are now running um yeah we just had that uh loose wire connection uh, breaker trip um, y'all see how corroded and rusted it looked on, a, a, on that uh, terminal board um, I just find it pretty interesting uh, but I'm not surprised because I came across this uh, same scenario before um, it's at a Walmart a big store um, y'all remember uh, the other video, I was talking about how a lady, uh, I think she was like a, oh, I think she a Walmart uh, regional manager or whatever, uh, for HVAC side, I believe, I don't even know. But anyway, uh, y'all remember in the past video when I was at the dollar store, uh, checking the cases that was sweating, uh, towards the end, I was uh, saying that uh, she mixed my words up uh, saying that I didn't work, uh, didn't want to work on the freezer and all that. Uh, I wasn't, I didn't mind working on the freezer, uh, but to make the uh, long story short, uh, it was a loose wire connection. The fans wasn't even running. Refrigeration was going, uh, but the fans wasn't running at all. So it was just one small little connection uh, that caused that uh, 
loading behind freezer and be at high temperature. I had to get a uh, lift uh, to get towards uh, the top. Uh, anytime I work out at Walmart, I always use a lift uh, to work on them tall evaporator coils. Um, most stores that I'm working at now, they much smaller. They don't have lifts or anything. So I have to use ladders. Uh, so I just have to work what I have. But in this uh, case scenario, I just uh, use two uh, milk crates um, or a six foot ladder um, to get where I need to get at. But it was just a uh, loose wire connection. So we got it. I've been monitoring all that temperatures down. And I did mention that the sight glass was flashing, uh, but end up clearing up. We got about like 5%. Um, and like I said, I worked on this freezer before. I just worked on the evaporator core. I just uh, welded, that was it. Uh, nothing more, nothing uh, less. Uh, so that's the second time I welded that core. I think that was back in June, so. That's going to be pretty much it. I'm not going to talk your heads off. I'm going to get this video out to y'all. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. If y'all have any tips for me, man, drop, drop it, drop it, drop your gems for me. Uh, honestly, all the input I, I have been getting, I can make a whole book. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm trying to be more uh, talkative. So y'all can be more understandable, uh, understandable, because I know I can fumble on words sometimes or what I'm saying and all that. So I'm trying to be clear and all that. That's something I'm trying to work on, especially talking to a whole audience and all that. Uh, but uh, normally, man, I just sometimes I gotta take my time just talking. <laughs> oh man, but that's pretty much it, guys. Have a blessed day, because guess what? I am. Uh, I gotta drive. To my boss shop, so I gotta drop off some parts. Uh, mind you, I don't stay by the shop, I stay about like an hour or something away. So, drop some parts off. Then, I gotta drop off a big old check, an $8,500 check. I picked it up from a grocery store, so gotta drop that off to him. So, making me want to, you know, start doing work on my own now. I love your stop. <laughs> it will come though. Let's we'll see y'all. Uh, stop.